F-A-N-B-R-A-G. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer helping you get your business right. How much do you know about innovation? Well, I probably don't know enough because our next guest says that when companies innovate, Mm -hmm. life improves for many around the world. He says, while breakthrough innovation occasionally springs up from the minds of some extremely gifted and talented individuals, it would be more prevalent through corporate cultures that actually encourage innovation. Our guest is Kumar Mehta. His new book is The Innovation. Innovation Biome, a sustained business environment where innovation thrives. And he says a biome is the environment we want to create inside of our business. A natural biome is a specific environment that provides the conditions where a system of life eg- exists. The author of The Innovation Biome, Kumar Mehta, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, Kumar, it's our privilege to have you on. Uh, I, I understand the terminology of biome and how, uh, you know, you create uh, or it sustains and prevent or pre- presents in a place where people can thrive and li- live and, and grow. What does that have to do with innovation? Tie that together for me. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so in the book, The Innovation Biome, I've modeled the learning of innovation on the system that throughout time has been the single most successful environment for breakthrough creation. And I'm talking about the natural environment that supports life. The nature around us is the system that offers conditions for certain biological innovations to thrive, whereas others perish. Now, the largest and most significant natural environments on the planet are called biomes. These are large regions of the earth, uh, like the tundras and deciduous and tropical forests and grasslands and so on. Uh, And each of these biomes contains several ecosystems. And now the connection is, if you think about a corporation as a biome, with its own ecosystems and network elements, such as different departments and themes and approaches and structures and rules and all these things that interconnect and reside together and continually interact with each other and hopefully flourish. So, for example, there could be a marketing ecosystem with its own set of players or sales or product development. Now, these ecosystems are designed to work together, but they may clash with one another. Uh, And But in any case, they all live within the same environment or biome and thrive or fail as one. Now, the, now the whole uh, idea of the book is that more than anything else, your corporate biome determines how productive your company is in developing a sustained culture of innovation. And the attributes of, uh, of your company, just like the attributes of a biome, determine how productive your biome will be. Uh, so uh, a corporate biome can be like a cold tundra that's characterized by a permanently frozen layer of soil. Or it can be a tropical rainforest with, uh, you know, dense growth and abundant life and high levels of productivity. And uh, that's kind of where the parallels come from between the two. So metaphorically, uh, I've kind of used the term uh, biome to describe the culture of a corporation and sustaining innovation. I, I like the, uh, the the idea of, of using the biome as a metaphor for your area. And, of course, we all know that the sales team is in the tundra. Uh, so, so how do we create this, uh, culture and, and keep in mind, we're talking in large part to small business doesn't have the the massive corporate structure. Uh, what, what would be the first step to creating this biome that sustains innovation? Yeah. So the first step actually comes from the, uh, from the leadership of the organization. It could be a small or a large organization. And the first step is actually, uh, understanding and believing uh, and sharing with the organization that innovation is a priority and innovation is something that can be done. And it can be done by everyone. It's not uh, just done by a separate group of uh, people. Innovation uh, can be democratized uh, and, and everyone uh, can play a role in innovation regardless of where they are in the company. Okay. So if we want to, if we want to tap in to this, thought about this culture and creating innovation and having innovation actually be at the forefront of everything. What's our first step in creating an innovation biome? Uh, So the first step, uh, like like I said, is just uh, uh, making sure that everyone understands that innovation is a priority and everyone can, uh, can actually, uh, can actually deliver and whatever they do in innovation. You know, we, we always talk about the iPhone as being one of the greatest innovations that, that we all use today. And now, now one of the interesting things is that 
uh, it's not just the iPhone uh, that's innovative. Uh, the, uh, for example, the packaging, the box that it comes in, uh, is an innovation uh, that's a patented innovation with 17 designers listed on the patent. And I, I read that somewhere. Uh, so it, it's that, you know, no one would think about packaging as being an innovation. Uh, however, in this case, uh, it's not necessarily considered just a box you unwrap and throw away. It's the first interaction a customer has with the product. And uh, that kind of sets the tone for how you perceive the product. So innovation can uh, can happen everywhere around uh, uh, everywhere in an organization. And, and honestly, the first step is just making sure the organization understands that, hey, you know, we're, we can all be innovative in whatever we do. I love this. This is, yes, I think that for many of our listeners listening today, Kumar, let's talk a little bit about where they can get the book and stay connected with you. How do you want them to do that? Uh, well, you can get the book uh, on Amazon or any anywhere else. It's called the Innovation Biome, uh, and uh, you can uh, always uh, get uh, get in touch with me at uh, either the Innovation Biome dot com or www.kumarmetha.com, dot uh, com, and uh, or just reach out to me uh, on the website or on LinkedIn. Uh, and I'd love to hear from uh, people who read the book or just want to talk about innovation. You know, I think that when we talk about innovation, so many companies, Kumar, we're just do the same thing we've always done. Right. And maybe do a little bit of tweaking. But there are there are some big companies that because they failed to innovate, they were the big dinosaurs. We thought they'd never go away. Kodak. And they tumbled. Talk about how important it is to have innovation as the forefront of your of your of your business these days. So you are absolutely right. We are living in an age where the only real advantage a corporation has for sustained success is innovation. And these large companies that, that are powerful in, in industries and, you know, strong brands and household names. And I heard you just mentioned Kodak. Sure. Uh, you know, all these companies can become uh, truly indispensable. Uh, and that seems they're indispensable today can become irrelevant overnight. And, uh, you know, think about Borders, you know, one of the most successful uh, bookstores in the world. Right. Or not too long ago, we had BlackBerry. You know, that was a must-have device not very long ago. Uh, Blockbuster was the undisputed heavyweight of video rentals. And, uh, you know, and the list goes on and on. Polaroid, Nokia, Kodak, Motorola. There's so many companies that were once a who's who of corporate strength. And, and the thing to realize that it's not just technology companies that are creating disruption through the implementation of digital solutions. Uh, a decade ago, who would have thought Levi's would face competition from yoga wear? Right. So, uh, uh, you know, so, so if you don't innovate, no matter who you are, you are going to be irrelevant and, and any company can turn, be turned upside down in virtually no time. And, and you know, we were just speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I, yeah. you made the point of, of Levi's being uh, replaced by, by uh, or at least have, has competition with yoga wear. And I, for one, am, am personally glad of it. Because uh, I remember <laughs> just you know a decade ago saying I really thank Mr. Levi for doing what he's doing. Now I thank Lululemon. I, you know, I mean it's it's, it's all good. Yeah, and so do millions of other. Uh, that's that's, uh, that's my bottom line. Them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, the book is called The Innovation Biome. Kumar Meta, PhD, Doctor Kumar Meta. It's a really easy to use book. Understand the foundational elements that drive innovation. Uh, it's written in an engaging, easy to read styles. Make sure innovation is at the top of your game as you go into 2018. Kumar, final word of wisdom for our audience today. Yeah, uh, you, uh, innovation is not just the domain of the few people that we think about like uh, as innovative, like Bill Gates or Edison or Musk or, or Jobs. You can be innovative. In fact, 75% of uh, successful startups have just uh, been founded by regular people working in, in, uh, uh, in regular companies. So you just have to believe and have to have faith in yourself that you can be innovative. And uh, you probably can if you just do the right things. Mm. Do the right things. First it. thing you need to do, pick up a copy of the Innovation Biome, the Innovation Biome, wherever fabulous books are sold and connect with Kumar online and on social media and make sure that you're doing things. Just you're not going to become one of those dinosaurs who thought you were too big to too big to fall. There you go. Kumar, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks again for having me on. This has been great. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and, and what a what a great uh, conversation. And and he puts it in terms that even I can understand, right? That, which is significant uh, <laughs> because I'm ready to innovate 
you know, who knows? It might be the, the next Uber. It might be the next iPhone. Who knows what it might be? You just watch and see. Something's coming down the pipeline. We'll be back right after these messages. Angel Tussie, Eric Kramer helping you get your business right. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pro.